name Drama that you host If I name I'm thinking that you chose The best thing If you like in the shows And all of these movies What up Chippa Chat This is Chippa Chat Chat What up Chippa Chat This is Chippa Chat Chat What up Chippa Chat This is Chippa Chat Chat What up Chippa Chat This is Chippa Chat Chat What up Chippa Chaps This is Chippa Chat Chat Episode 43 43 43 I am your host Chamba and Fure. Oh, Fure. All right. So both of us are feeling pretty shit house right now. <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> like you'll probably hear us cough every now and then, but you know, because we want to try and keep this a weekly thing, we're doing this for you guys and mainly for us as well cuz why not? Because we're going to talk about it anyway. Because we're going to talk about it anyway. Might as well record <laughs> it and upload it. <laughs> so if we start trailing off, um, yeah, let's just... We're going to try and just have a more conversational episode. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a few things we, we found that we can chat about. So obviously the only things we chat about are the things that interest us for the most part. We don't just ramble on about garbage. Well, yeah, sometimes we do. you do I guess garbage. we do, but... Usually those things will take us, like, we'll just skim over it because we really don't care. <laughs> but we just have no, like, our interest in it isn't as deep as our interest in other things, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It does, but I'm, I'm struggling to know what you're talking about like, as far as I'm what things about, like, done that. <laughs> For example, like, Civil War and shit like that. We could talk about Marvel movies for a while and then stuff like uh, Supergirl, for example. <laughs> Uh, that one I'll skim over because it's like, yeah, it's Supergirl. She's cool, but the rest of the show is shit house. <laughs> Speaking of Supergirl, though, yeah, um, season two renewal, right? Uh-huh. Is that what ha- is that what it is? It's renewed for season two, but it's switching networks. Oh, how about that? Is that even allowed? Doesn't matter. Uh, That's what's happening. It's, it's owned by the same people, so. Oh, okay, okay. They so... they uh. They decided to move Supergirl over to the CW for its second season. Cool. So it did get renewed, yes. but they decided it would be a better fit on the other network. Smart move. Yeah, I, they should have just started that there. <laughs> also, um, if this means that the Supergirl show will start feeling like Flash, I might actually look into it. Yeah, uh... Because that, like that, that, yeah, that, sure. that Flash crossover episode was the only episode I've seen. Oh, well, I watched the first episode of Supergirl, but that one was like, okay, that was fun. But it's not a good show. I just don't like the cast as much. I, I think, don't, not way. at all. Like, it just felt like shit. Maybe <laughs> I felt like shit during watching it, but I was like, every time Supergirl and the Flash were in, I was like, I like this. They're fun. I'm enjoying myself with this. But the then every time it went to like, much. huh? The rest of it, not so much. No, not as much. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Why? Why can't you? Why can't it all be that good in that, yeah. in that sense? You know, like you you got the characters right, you got the leads right. How come your extra characters are just like, who gives a shit? Yeah, I think probably some of that comes from them trying so hard to make it super man story. But see, that Supergirl was my initial skin. problem. That was my initial problem from the start. I'm like, okay, we got Supergirl. Let's do some Supergirl stories instead of like, let's let's retell some Superman stories, but put it in her instead. Right. Well, let's like... remake Smallville. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. But even or let's do the last where Smallville left off. Yeah. But now, it's, <laughs> but, now he turned into a girl. Yeah, he just he had a, a gender bend. Yeah, that's silly. that's essentially what it is, isn't it? It seems like it. Weird. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that makes improvements to the show happen. Hopefully. I wonder if it means that they will kind of retcon what happened in the Supergirl Flash crossover because they used to be in separate from worlds, different yeah. worlds or whatever. Yeah. So, But like as you just brought up earlier, well not like pre-recording, you were saying, does this mean that if it's part of the same world, Automatically, we have Superman in this world. Yeah, it means Superman and Flash exist now in the same yeah, place. If they're part of the actually same get a proper Justice League. But I wonder if you'll if they'll if just they'll stop mentioning it, yeah, Superman. Probably, yeah, I'm sure they <laughs> will. Like, they'll stop eventually. They've got Flash now. We don't need right, to mention. In my head, right? Even as the Supergirl show is going on and she's doing her stuff, uh-huh. 
What's Superman doing? His own thing, apparently. Yeah, but like, what scale would his stuff be? Superman scale. Because well, technically, <laughs> technically, all the stuff that happens in Supergirl can't be like world threatening shit. Uh, it, it can be, but he's given her the leeway right. to handle it herself. So. Right, cool, cool. He trusts in her. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That makes absolute sense. Instead of working together to actually fix it quicker. No, that's, well, you can take, that's how it happens in the comics, I'm sure. Superman can't be in every issue of Superman. No, no, I get that, I get that. But, like, I'm sure, like, you'd have to weigh it out. Like, okay, that is world-threatening. This one, he's destroying a city. How about we switch? <laughs> Maybe, but I don't know. I have to read I don't know. That's, Supergirl, that's, that's, see how they yeah, handle it. All right, whatever, whatever. But, yeah, that's in season. Season two is now in CW, so good job on you. Yeah, good job, you guys. Yeah, Hope, good job, hopefully, you, guys. you uh, make it good. Right, another show that we that I enjoyed that didn't get picked up for another season is Agent Carter. Well, I guess Agent Carter dies on TV and in the movies. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had seen Winter Soldier, you'd realize she was old. So yeah, she's old as, as shit. So I didn't remember shit. So. Yeah. Well, she remembered well, stuff, yeah. just, yeah. She remembered enough to cry every 20 right. minutes. That's, that's a terrible... Yeah, that's <laughs> awful, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably better off that it's she's like, gone It's like, why now. are you crying? It's like, why am I old? I'm like, oh, God, this is hard. I'm waiting for Steve. We're supposed to dance. Yeah, we're supposed to dance. It's like she does this every day, man. Every day. Seriously. <laughs> I, we just pretend Steve is coming back, and she'll never, she'll never know anyways. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> like, we, that's what we've kept telling her, that Steve is going to come back. He's just gone off to get a coffee. Oh, that's so we, sad. We've said that for three years. We didn't even know Steve was here. Shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, those, those caretakers <coughs> are awful. I'll take that microphone. Um, well, you know, I, I, I understand. I mean, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. barely has better ratings than than uh agent carter did so we'll see how long that show lasts as well yeah um we'll see i heard there i heard that that uh spinoff that they're gonna do is also like in rocky shape now yeah. yeah they're like maybe we're not gonna make it now honestly instead of making how about this instead of making spin-offs of ongoing shows why don't you focus on the show and make that amazing I'm sure that would be the uh, idea, but, you know, you do what you can. But that's what I'm saying. Instead of doing what I can with this show, I know, I'll just spin off these characters who are the fun characters in this show, give them to another show. Might not have been what they wanted to do. Focus on freaking S.H.I.E.L.D. and make it awesome. Networks, man. Networks. I get it. That makes no sense. Instead of spending more money... On the show, let's spend even more money to make a new show. I think they wanted to do what CW is doing and have multiple shows that can be connected to each other. But you can't do that when it's like they're shield, you know, they're shield characters. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know what Mockingbird's comic is like, but apparently I... they ha they just rebooted it. Would it be like the comic of Mockingbird? Maybe. I mean, they did add. The Lance Hunter character to it? Yeah, I guess. To the comics, apparently. I heard that. I heard Joy that. I picked Ward. up issue one, and she I told heard that me Ward's that, in the comics now. Uh, I, that wouldn't surprise me. They did a whole thing where they like started Shield comics spinoffs and Shield comic proper. So like, Coulson's on a team with May, and Quake has a new book out, and Mockingbird has a new book out, and it's like connected to what's going on in Shield, but not. That's weird. Uh, it's interesting. I it's mean, it just of... shows how popular the Coulson character has gotten. I guess, but why don't you just have him in proper stories and say, here's his comic version and here's his TV version? Like, are these comics, these spin off comics, linked to the TV show? No, they're just based on. Oh, those okay. Because I was gonna say, like, I always get, I always like it, th those things. Always tend to bother me for some reason, where it's like, this is based off, or this is a spin-off, or related to the show. But, and I'm like, how come those adventures aren't in the show? Aren't they as important? Then no, if I they're not important, like who cares? How in the six one six they have Black Nick Fury, but right, he's right. like the son of Nick Fury. Yes, that's true. 
I think it's like that, where they were like, we want Coulson and these people in the 616, but it there it's the 616 versions of those characters, right. not necessarily right. the same thing. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't read it. Kanoi says the Mockingbird one is pretty good. Cool, man. Um, I like If it's good, it's good, you know, it. get on it. She said the new Wolverine is really good, too. The That's X-23 the X-23 one, one right? The, I know the artwork's dope. I was not a fan of the. You don't like it? It's the same that did that silent Batgirl. No. Isn't it? Isn't it not? No. Oh, oh, my bad. He's only doing covers. My bad. Yeah, he. My that bad, my bad. dude is doing uh, the Silk books. My bad. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because he was doing or, covers, no the Gwen the Gwen Stacy books. Right. Right. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you know, if the comic is good, I'll check it out. Maybe it'll be better than what that show is. Sure. Um, Continuing TV news, um, Jessica Jones season two is going to be filming what? Uh, you said same time as Defenders? Yeah, and they're both supposed to be filming by the end of this year. That is, dude, that's. See, technically, Marvel already has their um, CW type verse. Where the they, whole Netflix. They do with the Netflix universe, but I think people want Coulson to be like a uh... multi spreading. Why it, it Really? Is he that loved? Apparently. I really? mean, enough to where they're like, why the fuck isn't Coulson in the movies anymore? Even though we all know he, movies. We all know he's alive. Well, not in the movies. Even if we don't watch the show, everyone knows he's alive now. He's been on TV as Coulson for yeah, a few years. Yeah, that's why it's like, just fucking put him in there already, dude. Yeah, just let him show yeah, up. Yeah, just let him shit. show up and then acknowledge the fact that the TV is linked. If he's not in Infinity War, I I'm gonna be, be disappointed. A yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, calm, missed opportunity. Just again, yeah, like, like, come the fuck on. I mean, if it's a maze balls, I'll forgive it, obviously. Absolutely. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, it would be don't nice. Get me wrong. I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm sure, like, if Civil War is as good as it is, and if they do the Infinity War, whatever one and two, whatever they're calling it now, if it's as good as Civil War and Winter Soldier, I'm still right. gonna love it. But it would just be that much cooler those tv shows and the netflix characters were acknowledged yeah definitely they don't have to be part of the whole you know the fray the whole fight and everything just, just acknowledge you know, their existence yeah let them exist yes let them be yeah because like they obviously reference the movies uh, or other things that happen in the tv not large enough of a scale for them to care uh yeah i don't know they got absorbing man that's something that's something like, I mean, they essentially eliminated Shield or eliminated uh, Hydra on Shield. Yeah. So. Yeah. It makes sense to have that's, that. That's the, that's the crazy part. Avengers two starts off with the reason why event like the Avengers actually attacked that base was from the fucking intel that Shield got. Exactly, but you never see that connection happen. You don't. Like, but that's why they should have acknowledged that. Oh, and did you hear? Uh, speculation about are they they said that like marvel's saying they want to make a black widow movie yeah and uh have winter soldier in it well they could because they the russos implied that that line of the don't you remember yeah don't you don't you recognize me they're saying that that could imply the comic book version Mm -hmm. of their history where they work together on missions wicked It'd be cool, but it's See, also weird in Winter Soldier that she wouldn't be like, and I've worked with him before. She just said he shot me in the chest one time. Yeah, well, she, <laughs> Everyone she was, thought she he was, was a ghost. Yeah, she was talking to Cap at that point. But that scene where she was getting choked out, it was just to win us to, to win a, to Bucky. It'd be interesting though if she found out that Buck if she knew already that it was Bucky. Yeah. But it's a lot of like them all keeping secrets from Absolutely. each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the thing I'm like, but that's that's what you know, like that's what makes the characters, you know, the characters that we follow and shit. But the rumor is that uh if they did the Black Widow movie or Have Mocking Bird up up here. Even if they don't do the Black Widow movie, there's a bunch of speculation on why Nick Fury wasn't in Civil War. Ooh, and what he's up to, like what what's going on with him? Like some people are saying that there's going to be some kind of like rescue mission thing where a widow and Hawkeye have to go get him or something. You know shit what? Like- I'm good with it. If this if this if this um widow movie isn't exactly a solo widow film, 
But it's her. Yeah. They've implied that they are partners. Exactly. The Why don't they just do that? That's the thing that gets me. Everyone's like, do a Black Widow movie. And I'm like, have her and Hawkeye do it. Yeah, and show both of them, the yeah. non powered Avengers, taking Absolutely. on like super powered people. Or just like really, yeah, dope, dope, you know, dope villains. Doesn't matter. I think because to show how d- dope they are. That's as why non-powered. they're Avengers. Exactly. Because right now it's still pretty crazy why they're Avengers. Right. You know, it's like, why isn't main Avenger if she's supposed to be legit? Why isn't bloody um, Mockingbird? But they showed in Civil War that in their own way they can take on these higher right. powered people. Like that's true. I don't. I won't say exactly what it is, but there is a confrontation between Hawkeye and the Vision uh, earlier on in the movie where you're like, "Huh, I guess there are ways that he could yep fight these people." Yep, it's using your smarts. Right, using the tech and the abilities. Yep. If he played it the right way, he could fight super powered people. Obviously, if you're fighting someone with the power level of the vision, it's going to be yeah, really hard to justify. Like, that's, what, that's what I was like already. I was like, "Ooh, you're you're bucking up a massive tree." Yeah, but if you're fighting lower level guys, absolutely, uh, yeah, he could take them. Like, I'm sure they could figure it out. Absolutely, like I, I believe that. Like seeing them in action, especially that airport scene. Yeah, definitely. They can hold their own, no doubt. But if they if those two were in a their own film where they did have to kind of call it whatever you want even if you wanted black widow to be the main that's fine as well but it's almost unfair for for hawkeye you know yeah and i think that uh them two working together justifies the movie i don't Absolutely, know yeah. honestly that i care a whole bunch yeah, if it was just black about black a stuff. solo black widow that's why i definitely saying. don't care about a solo no, 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 no. but together perfect do it yeah, because they've been talking about them, their partnership the yeah. whole time. And then if you wanted to throw Winter Soldier in there, yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, throw Winter Soldier, throw all kinds of people yeah, that we would out. I would watch that. That's what everyone's Mockingbird saying. That shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, throw Mockingbird in it. That'd be dope. Say that um, that was like Barton's ex or some shit like that. Oh, see, that'd be tight. Because automatically you're like, cool, thank you for referencing the comic. Right, thank you for justifying that. Yeah, that's all we wanted. Just fucking... just. Even that little tease, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks about it. But yeah, um, yeah. Everyone was saying like, oh, Black Widow film, and I'm like, it would be cool, but Black Widow and Hawkeye would make more sense. It would give them something to do. That that yeah, would sure. that would be solely them, you know. Um, what's going on with this Berlanti thing? Oh yeah. Um, there's talk that Berlanti is going to do a DC film, and it's Booster Gold. Which I, th- I heard Which is, for a long time that Booster Gold was going to be a series. I didn't expect them to do no, a movie. They, I, I, I recently read that it's going to be a film, which made me... See, this is still all speculation and rumor at this point, but if that's the case, I'm like, wait a second. Are DC actually... I thought everything DC were doing film-wise was going to be, um, you know... Connected? Yeah, Connected. Like if they, like it would it wouldn't really make much sense if they did a film where it's like oh yeah this is actually not part of that this is our own thing. Well, that's what already was the rumor for the Shazam movie. They can't do it that way. They have to connect. Otherwise, what's the point? I think they could just say that only the Justice League movies are going to be connected. See, if they said that, damn, that, that, that's it's, what you got to do. It's still annoying. But it is annoying, but you know. At least it's definitive. Right, and at least this way, you know, people don't expect where it's like oh yeah they got the DC logo at the front. Now they're and, the you same know, film. Booster Gold could be connected. It's Absolutely. a time travel story. They don't necessarily have Plus, to. With the Flash in that world, you can have multiple plant, multiple Earths still. He exactly. Could be from another Earth. So, like, even if the he Earth did two Booster Gold. Absolutely, doesn't matter. Or Earth, whatever Booster Gold, who's a time traveler. So that's even crazier shit. He's a multiple planet time traveler. So he's not Sam even. Would explain planet. would explain how they eventually get. Black Adam or Shazam to be part of those movies. Like and then they go back to their own shit after. Mm-hmm. Done. But yeah, I was like, Belanti, since he's in charge of all the CW superhero shows, I mean, Booster God's supposed to be the more lighter tone hero. Yeah. So it would kind of make sense if it was him, yeah. I guess. It's similar to how they yeah. talk about Shazam, I guess. Right, right. So that could be interesting. I mean, like, if he, if he ran that film the way he runs Flash... I'm down. Who, who would you cast? As Booster Gold? Yeah. Ooh, that's fucking tricky. 
Because people say Fillion and no, no, Fillion's too old. One, he's old, and no, no, he's too two, old. he's, already he's Wonder Man now. He's Wonder Man. You can't cast. Yeah, he, he's a, he actually makes more sense as Wonder Man. Um, even with the age, uh, Booster Gold. Um, if he wasn't already dead, I'd put like a Paul Walker or something. Ah, oh, dude, he would have been great. I think he fits with that kind of. Uh, who would have been Paul Walker ish right now? Who's Paul Walker ish? Uh, Has that vibe? Hemsworth, but you know he's occupied. What about the ba- baby Hemsworth? He's he's not Paul Walker ish. He's not current a troll Hemsworth. person. <laughs> um, I don't know who's Paul Walker ish right now. I don't know if we have another one. He was well, the closest who, thing we had to a Keanu Reeves. <laughs> that's why I know it's weird. Uh, who, all right, who would be good for Booster Gold though? Like, that's actually a good one. It's got to be somebody that can kind of do the humor and the action. A Chris Pratt type, if you will. Yeah, but that's the problem. <laughs> Uh, maybe they'll get the other guy that almost was Star Lord, the dude from Always Sunny. Which guy was that? Um. Oh, the the main one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's uh, actually a popular character. He's a popular popular actor amongst people who watch that shit. So he'd already have yeah. some sort of a cult following. Apparently, he was the other choice for Star Lord. Really? Yeah. Get that guy. See, that's the thing. Like, I know a lot of people are like. In terms of casting, look at the people who are up for a lot of these roles. If they didn't make it, look at the people who didn't make it. Yeah, but they end up using almost all those people. They do, almost like all the, the one that was almost Cap is Bucky. That's true. <laughs> and the one that was almost um, Star-Lord, even, was Ronan. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And the one that was trying to go for Thor is Loki. <laughs> right, that's so weird, isn't it? Yeah, although they they said the other two that were up for Thor that uh, after they said no to um, Hiddleston, yeah Hiddleston, but then they gave him Loki. There were two other guys that were up for it. I remember one of them was Charlie Hunnam. Oh, and uh, the other Skarsgård, Skarsgård's kid. Oh, okay. Tarzan. Yeah, yeah, the guy's is. currently Tarzan. See, that both of them make sense to me still, as Thor, even. Yeah, especially Skarsgård, because he's actually... Yeah, he's actually from that area. Yeah, he's actually, like, Norse yeah, or whatever. That's <laughs> fucking weird. Um, get one of them as Booster. <laughs> I don't know if they could do it. I don't know if yeah, Skarsgård yeah. is right for that. If anything, I'll, like, use him for something else, because um, there's plenty, plenty of characters they can be. Yeah, I'm sure we can find another white dude. Absolutely. <laughs> There's yeah, plenty of them. That's that's yeah, I don't know who like I don't know. I don't know who they'd get for Booster. Depending um, what you know what uh what type of character they they want him to be. Yeah, that's definitely true. Mm. But uh so I they're talking to Lupita Nyong'o for Black Panther. Right. That's uh keeping it in the Disney family, huh? I'm curious who she who would be, be playing. That's the thing as well. Are there many Many big female characters in the Black Panther books. Uh, if there is, I don't know. I I got the first issue of the new series. How is it good? Yeah, I haven't read it, so I don't know. Uh, I'm sure but, like they've got a character. Like they wouldn't just go. We want to cast you. It's like as who? We'll find a character. I promise. We just want you in this film. I know she's got. A, he's got a sister. Oh, there we go. In the story, supposedly. Yeah. Uh, and that. He's got to have some sort of love interest, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, he's a king now. Lupita Nyong'o's cute. Yeah. I imagine she could be a love interest. It's I can't imagine he's going to be dating like white girls in Africa. No, like you know, yeah, I don't expect <laughs> to see many, many, yeah, yeah of anybody it's else. It's going to be a very chocolatey film. Yeah, I think that's probably good because we don't have those in the Marvel exactly. universe yet. Exactly. When are we going to get, a, a, like, a mainstream Asian Marvel superhero? I don't know, man. Who could it be, though? Who would you, like, what would it be, even? I have no idea, because I just feel, feel like there's not many. You can't yeah. do Shang-Chi. That's not uh-huh. movie-worthy. He could be in the series, but... He could be part of Iron Fist, not even as a main, so... Right. I don't know, man. It's a good question. Um, 
You can't even get Amadeus Cho. He, he's not going to get a solo flick unless he... Be, yeah, no. 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 The closest thing we have is Hero from Big Hero 6. Which is, yeah, I know, that's what I was going to say. I was like, they already did him, but they, they animated it instead. And I'm like, dang, that was a missed. If it was technically still part of the universe, then I'd say it counts. But yeah, that's, since it's, it's not, its yeah, own it's, thing... Do you think they should have been part of the universe? Yes. Infinitely, Lee, yes. But I, you know, I get what they were going for. They wanted to do something that's its own thing, the San Francisco or whatever. But how tight would it have been if it was supposed to be part of it and we could have seen, like, little fucking Disney versions of Iron Man flying in the background and shit? Dude, dude, dude. dude. Not even just that, the vice versa. It would have been, well, I don't know. I don't think they ever would have went vice versa. Oh, just just because then you have to worry about the cast That's that you picked. And, yeah, it's not the same. But still would have been tight to see the Disney versions of the oh, okay. Avengers oh, going yeah, by. Yeah. Oh, well. Missed off. <sighs> yeah. I wonder if they're ever going to do a sequel to that. It made money. It did. It, it, was, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a bomb. Th- they're supposed to be a series or something, though, right? That's what they said, yeah. They're, they're going to make a series for it. So it might be kind of like what they did with the... Um, what DreamWorks did with the How to Train Your Dragon films, how those series takes place between films. Ah. Uh, are those still CGI or are they 2D? Cartoons? They're all CG. They're all CG. Oh, the, only one that's two- the only one that's 2D is the, um, the Croods. And Turbo. And Turbo. That's right, that's right, that's right. I haven't seen either of them. No. Um, I haven't even seen any of the, uh, the How to Train Your Dragon ones, honestly. No. Um, I did. I, I did read that people have issues with those because they just look a little cheap compared to the, the shows. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Cause it's like television budget and whatnot. So, you know, you can't exactly I'm sure the environments are very plain. It's yeah. It's mainly the environments. Like the characters still, so they, they say they look pretty like they're modeled exactly the same, but right. less textures. Um, the, the shading isn't as, you know, intense, understandably so, but like, if it's possible, I don't see the problem. Like, if like I'm not even sure what they're gonna do with the Big Hero Six cartoon. To be honest, I don't know whether it's gonna be CG or 2D. Yeah, I'm very curious about so, that one. Like, if you remember the end credit scenes, how they're all drawn uh-huh. and shit. Yeah. If it looked similar to that, I'd be okay. Yeah, I suppose. Like, not not, not as rough as not as loose as that, but mm-hmm. just a tighter version of. Have that. you seen the Guardians cartoon? Yes. Yeah, I've seen I- a couple. I've not watched any of that. It's not bad, dude. The animation is cool. My issue, again, with the Guardians cartoon is that it's based off of the movie, but it doesn't really, you know, it's not linked to the film, if that makes sense. I figured it wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's almost like, hey, you like these characters in these films. Watch this cartoon and follow their more adventures, which aren't related to the films, by the way. All right. They, they're going to fight Thanos a whole bunch yeah, more than like you'd expect. Gonna, <laughs> one, is, one is alive. Right. Why so, not? You know, it's their adventures and whatnot. So have fun with it. Um, yeah, it could be cool. It could be cool. What about this Powerless TV show? Uh, is there a trailer out? Because I haven't seen it yet. I've just seen pictures. I've seen stills. That's I've it. only seen stills. Um, it's got Alan Tudyk and he's awesome. And honestly, that's the only thing that it's got going for it for me. Uh, yeah, but Alan Tudyk on his own is not enough reason right, for me to, to check be, out a thing. That's exa- like my, like likewise. Like if he's, part I, of I really ensemble, like him, but if it's part of a, a DC ensemble. comedy show. No, that's why. First so off, that sounds very similar to the Marvel show that they're gonna do, oh. except for the DC version. They're insurance agents that deal with the superhero problem. Okay, and the Marvel one is the uh, the cleanup crew. Uh, they clean up after superhero destruction or whatever, mm. and I don't remember. Is what that, that what the Fox called. production? I don't remember, but it's supposed to be part of the Marvel universe. Oh, okay, so it's it's part of the. Okay, so it's not a Fox. It's I guess it's part of the. I imagine it's CBS or something. It's probably one of those ones. Yeah, I don't know. This powerless. Uh... <sighs> don't care really it's it's what it whatever it's it's news it's comp- i just feel like they're not gonna show any of the characters yeah. that we give a shit about that's exactly it and really so that's the thing i like, can't imagine that i'm gonna care especially i do not care about vanessa hudgens no i mean all right question 
this is supposed to be the like a, a law firm that is set within a superhero world. What superhero world is it? Which one? What DC's. is it? DC's. Yeah, I, I get that, but like w- the television world, not the movie world, clearly, because it's a comedy. No, it's its. I'm sure it's its own thing. That's dumb. I don't care then. They're just gonna be like, look at those key heroes right in the background. Yeah, that's yeah, num- uh, yeah. Can't. Like they said that there's a there's a character that the Vanessa Hudgens character ha- like stands up to a superhero or a supervillain or something on a after she's attacked on a train, mm-hmm. and so that makes her like a hero in her own little agency or some shit like that. Cool. Uh, I just. Do not care at all. Yeah. You, everything <laughs> everything you said just then, I was like, not. Nah. Uh, yeah. Like, right. who did she Until stand I up see to? A trailer, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is the best! It's the Office with superheroes yeah, and whatever." It's, yeah, exactly. It's like, oh my gosh, they actually got fucking Ben Affleck. It's like, there's no way. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. No. No. So I care very little. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, it's, but hey, it's good on him. It's a thing that's happening. Hopefully, uh. For, like, Alan Tiddick, it, it's not cancelled in after the first episode. And speaking of things I don't care about, the next X-Men film is going to be set in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much care. Uh, you know, I guess that makes sense with the pictures that came out of the characters in Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> or not Age of Apocalypse, just Apocalypse, but the pictures that came out with them in their 90s outfits. I... I really don't care. Like, is it bad that I don't care about the X Men films? I thought the last one was good. No, the last two were fu- the last two were good. I like. I, really I like feel it. like this one looks, looks like it's all on green screen. Yep. Like, let's just put a bunch of rocks and dirt and scream in front of them or pose in front of them. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that whole in battle where they're. Like Storm is there and Psylocke oh, is you cutting it's gonna cars. Be, yeah, it all looks fake to me. It all looks like somebody's just like put every Photoshop filter on this image, render difference clouds in the background, <laughs> invert just, them. I said, invert. Yeah. It just looks uh, not great right. to me. I know. I understand set pieces are expensive, but. You can be smart with how you film it. Just do, not every... I mean, I get it. They're fighting Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. But not every movie needs to be... Look at a bridge being destroyed yeah. from a long distance away. <laughs> look, at a, look at a monument being destroyed from a long it's distance become, it's away. It's become Independence Day. Basically, but yeah. Independence Day was good. Yeah, I guess there's a difference. Uh, you know... Like that um, scene of them destroying the Sydney Opera House. I like. I bet there's a thousand shots of that kind of thing. Like, here's a building you recognize, and yep. a postcard view of it being destroyed. Absolutely familiar. Yes, we're gonna destroy it. But from really far away, yep. and it has it's nothing to do with movie. the characters because they're not even there. You're gonna see, you, when you see, how do you have stakes in those you, kinds of action scenes? Do you know what it is? You know, it's it's like Dragon Ball Z when they go fight out in the dead or in nothing. In the desert plains and shit, kind of. Except for in Dragon Ball, yeah, Z, they actually go in the fight. Yep, yep, yep. That's those what I'm things saying. are being destroyed with the yeah. characters in the middle. I was of gonna it. say, I'm like, but that's the difference. But in a sense, that's what it is. It's like, let's go to a remote location, or I. Look and at I, I just love spot. also that they're like, yeah, and Apocalypse destroyed all these monuments and all these buildings and shit in the '80s, and nobody knew about it by the time the other X Men movies happened. That's why something has to happen in the end of this film. You'd think it has to, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be like, "What's the point?" Well, we get to find out in like two and a half weeks. I find or out next week. I don't even know when it comes out here. June third or something. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I, I, I have very little care. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'll watch it. Like, I'm begrudgingly watching it. <laughs> I feel like it'll be a once. Oh, yeah, I hope this is only a once. I hope, like, two of my mates buy t- don't buy tickets and go, hey, let's watch. I was I already watched it. It's like, but I bought tickets, and I'm like, oh, obligation now. Nope, I'd be like, find somebody else. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> it was garbage. Uh, is it a free ticket? If it's free, then... 
Still finds the Yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, I'll know which scene. But at if least it's, it's garbage, I promise I'm not going to see that shit a second time. Oh, no, 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 no. If uh, every friend I know bought yeah, tickets that's... for me to go. <laughs> I did watch BVS twice. Nope, I didn't. But the second time was better, so I was okay. And, and we even had free tickets and we didn't go. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's like, can we just wait with these free tickets to go to watch Civil War again? We used it for Jungle Book. Oh, okay, that's that's worth it then, it seems. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah, it Yeah, Jungle Book was good times, so... Yeah, I still, I still free tickets well up, used. Man. Thought you said you found somebody to go with. Nah, he, I, he, nah, they, they were, they were like, yo, it's just the an idea. That's all it is. And I'm like, I'm not watching myself next week. Do it, man. Because I've watched several films on myself. I'm like, fuck it, I'm watching it. It's worth seeing in the theater. It's research for me too. I mean, I get to claim that stuff. So. <laughs> well, why not? It's all, it's all artwork. It is, it is. Except for that kid. Well, everything else is artwork. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. That's really true. I know people are like, oh, but the acting is am- the voice acting is amazing. I'm like, absolutely, but I promise you, you wouldn't watch a film where it's just a kid walking around in green screen and you hear voices coming out of nowhere. Because <laughs> that would be a weird, weird movie. It depends, man. That Swiss that's, Army yeah. Man movie. That's is true. A but thing. see, that's a location. I'm talking about a kid jumping around green shit. I'm just saying, if you could oh, do yeah. a movie where a guy is dragging around a dead guy and making him fart to start fires and fart him all the way to the top of a tree yeah. and all this different shit, you could make a green screen little boy well, movie. I'm sure true. somebody will it, watch it. It would be classified as like an art house or some shit. They did Ryan Reynolds in a box for an hour and a half. I'm sure they'll figure it out. He carried that film, man, clearly. I never watched it. Just it was, it was good, man. It was good. What's the last thing we got on the list? Um... Uh, Assassin's Creed. The trailer came out. That's the last thing we have? Is it not? Oh, I thought we were talking about the, uh, Professor X. And oh, the yeah, yeah, my bad. Okay, there we go. We'll go to that one first, because it links. Yeah, Professor X is going to be in the New Mutants, which kind of makes sense, but doesn't at the same time, because if, you know, what you said is going to happen at the end of Apocalypse, where he's destroyed a bunch of shit in the 80s, what the yeah. fuck... How do you well, we kill don't a know. Is it yeah. McAvoy or Stewart? Uh, they said it's uh, McAvoy. Did they confirm that? I'm pretty sure it's going to be. He's I just heard Professor X. I didn't, I okn't okay. hear which version. But if it's a new guy. That would be so weird and confusing. And, and they didn't tell anybody. So weird and confusing. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden you're like, Mark Strong's there. He's sitting on a chair and you're like, what? <laughs> is he Professor X? It's like, yep, this is Professor X now. It's part of the Deadpool universe. Deal with that shit. I'll be like, oh, all right, if the Deadpool universe is the actual proper one, let's do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, like uh-huh. uh, Apocalypse destroyed, basically destroyed the whole universe and re- it got recreated again, and then that's what it is. That's <laughs> what it is. You know, if that's how it ends, I'd be like, yeah, of course. Of course it's how it ends. Of course yeah. it's how it ends. I just... Ah. <sighs> I, I'm a, I'm sad because I loved X Men. As in, and as they, a kid, they can't end it that way if they're doing know. the next one in the '90s with the cast from this movie. They can't. That's, that's why when they said, that, I was like, "Oh, cool. I guess they would leave then." Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'll find out next week. You'll find out in two weeks. I guess. I've not. I've not heard great things, but I have not seen any reviews yet. I've not any watched official reviews. reviews. I've I've seen like the Rotten Tomatoes numbers. And it's not looking right. good. I think it has like a it had like a forty I or think something it's a 50 on something. tomatoes. Yeah, and then it had like if you just look at the tops the top critics, it's like twenty two percent. Which is awful. It's not good. No. Uh but you know. Could be a train wreck, but you know. I just don't know why we keep fucking it up. We I don't know why we keep letting Brian Singer I make don't these. Know. That's the thing, I don't know. Just let us have a fresh perspective on Absolutely. the X. Absolutely. Like, please. Yeah, please. like, what, what could it hurt? We got one non Brian Singer X. We got, well, I guess technically we got the the Brett Ratner one. Yeah, yeah, but he was following. But he was still following what right. Brian Singer created. Like, I feel like just do something new. Like, Tim Miller's version of the X Men. Let him run X Men oh, now. Oh, dude. That would, yeah, let's do it. He seems to know comics. 
Yeah, just let Clearly. him let him be the Feige of oh, dude. X Men. <laughs> dude, of of the of oh, see, because he because he understand like, dude, you gotta watch the special features. Is it Deadpool. good? Yeah, the making of thing is like a five part documentary. Oh, thing. nice! I need to buy this then. Yeah, it's uh it's real good, and they and they talk about the decisions on like why Colossus looks different and stuff like that, and he's like. I've read the comics. In in the movies, he's just kind of a dude with shiny metal skin. In the comics, he's like an eight foot fucking behemoth. Yep. That's what makes Colossus cool. That's what he We're got. We're gonna make that Colossus. He understood it automatically. Yeah, it's just you know, it's a different mindset, and I wish, I wish we could get some of that on the X Men universe. I'm aside from that, just man. Fox, Fox needs to fucking lock down Tim Miller. Seriously, man. Or don't let Marvel take yeah. it. Yeah, give it to Marvel. Let him do some stuff there. <laughs> you know, know what? Give it to but... DC. Let him do stuff there. Ser- whatever you got to do with him. Make him do something. I'm... We saw what he could do with that DC Universe Online intro. That's what I'm saying. He did the best fucking Justice League we've ever... And unfortunately, it might be the best we'll ever see. Yep. Which is weird. <laughs> Because you're it like, how be. does that trailer or intro trailer make it's you... still It's still the bar. It's Yeah, it, it is the bar. And that's stupid. It shouldn't be the... Like, I know people like, games aren't as good as... I'm not even saying that. I'm like, you should look at that and go, we need to, we need to do this or better. Yep. How do you if not If we say can't that? do this in the movies, then What's what the is point? the point? What is the point? Let's just, let's just make a Justice League CG film with that dude directing. Yeah, just I promise you, go I'll in with it. that mindset. Yeah, beat this thing or yeah. don't do it. I don't bother. I think I think Civil War attempted, and they got to me. They fuck like, and I think that they action. did the Marvel yeah. version of that absolutely with their fifteen minute mm-hmm. set piece. Exactly. Yeah, fucking hell, and included a story in, in top of that. Yeah, and it, it you know it felt like that thing. Mm-hmm. Now DC needs to do that. Yep. Man, that Justice League thing. It's still the best. I watch it every now and then. I'm like, come on, man. I mean, they're the Justice League movie that's they're where they're making now. They've got a lot to try and fix in one movie. <sighs> they do, they do, they do. It's a lot. They do. It's a lot of like, uh, what happened there? Oh, forget about it. It never happened. Yeah. This is uh, this is now. What is happening now? So the Assassin's Creed trailer. Yeah, thing. yeah. Back to Assassin's Creed. The trailer's finally out. It premiered. And um, what are your thoughts? I think it looks like the game. That's a good thing, right? <coughs> I think so. I mean, yeah. it doesn't. They changed it doesn't though, right? do the animus the same. Right, right. The, in the in the game, it's literally like a chair you sit down in. So Matrix. More like more like the Matrix, but even less complicated visually. Oh, like okay. it's just a thing that you lay down on to sleep. Okay. It it's more like the thing that. Uh, Total Recall. That, Mer- that Morena Baccarin is in at the end of Deadpool. Oh, all right. Like a chamber type thing. Yeah. It's it's like you lay in it, and I think it like closes over you, at least in the first one. I think okay. in, the, in the other ones, it is more like the Matrix. You just okay. sit down in it. Okay. Um, but yeah, in the in the movie, it's got a, like a big ass robot arm that yeah, you, that's strapped, makes you do like, flips yeah. and shit. <laughs> that's why I looked at it. I was like, that looks so uncomfortable. See, in the, in the game storyline... As he is going in and out of the memory to b- be this assassin character, right, right. through muscle memory in his brain, he is like learning the assassin skills the longer he does it. Okay, so back it, into the real world, he's got it. It's yeah, and it seems like in the movie he's, he is yeah. physically doing the things yeah. as he is remembering. That's what, that. I'm, that's what I'm noticing. Because like it looks like it's it seems like they're doing a bunch of like. Crossing over where there are on the trailer alone, you can see there's scenes where I'm like, he's back in the prison type shit. Right, and he's like shooting bow and yeah. arrows. Oh, wait, there we go. It's also a prison, right? How it's different from the game. Yeah, it's, it's, they said like 
they have the beginning set up where they're like, you died yesterday, you were put to death, but mm-hmm. now you don't exist, so we put you in our weird prison. Yeah, now... <laughs> we go to your memories or whatever. You are a rag doll that goes back in time. We haven't yeah, told how, you how However do they do that storyline, I think, is going to sink or swim in the movie. Because I think the, the parts where he is the assassin... It's going to be super fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. I feel that. But if that the way. Animus storyline is garbage, garbage yep. it's going to hurt that film tremendously. Really I'm hoping that is as strong as the past part. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Because that uh, way you would give a shit about it. Fassbender's quote was, we want to make something that's like the game and respects the lore of the game, but we're not beholden to things that happen in the game. So okay. we're giving it... It's our an, life? an equal amount of respect as we are disrespect. Wow, like, okay, so it's a backhanded <laughs> Yeah, compliment. I was like, that's the, a weird way to put that, but it I is. guess I understand what he was saying. I do, it's not, the, he didn't put it the best way. Right. At least, uh, he put it in a way where I'm sure gamers are gonna be like, hey, fuck you! Right, like he could have <laughs> just said, um, we, uh, as, 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 you know, people who've played the games and stuff, we're gonna basically do what the game did, but basically take our own liberties in some set, some aspects. Right. Which sounds like, you know, that's what's happening. Yeah. Although not like, I'm going to disrespect it, so fuck it. But I am yeah. going to love it because... A lot of people are upset about the Kanye West song that's in it. <sighs> it doesn't It doesn't upset me. I'm not... I didn't, like, play it. All of a sudden, I'm like, Kanye West, blah! Yeah, oh. it didn't bother... It didn't bother me, but I noticed it enough to be like, people are going to talk shit about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That was an automatic thing. I'm uh, like, oh, people are going to talk about this specifically. Yeah, and just because they're going to, like, Kanye West... Like, people made a really big deal about the uh, last Warcraft trailer, because they were like, it has dubstep in it! Fuck you! Really? Man. People were upset by that? And it didn't even... To me, the song doesn't sound like dubstep. It's obviously electronic music, but people just like, any electronic music is dubstep now. And also, and it, uh, yeah, you can't have electronic music in a, in a game where it's... In a game movie where it's about right. orcs and stuff. Yeah. So would you know. prefer, like... Um, I don't know, like horns and shit. Horns want, and like, yeah, I think they want like Lord of the Ringsy music. I did, I did like read that some people were like, why don't they just play the, uh, like do their own version of the Assassin's Creed music? I don't. I think they should have used Woodkid. Yeah, that makes more sense because they use the that music for the Assassin's Creed Trailer. trailers, mm-hmm. and they and they work really well because they sound tribal. Mm-hmm. But they're obviously contemporary, Absolutely. and I, I think that kind of it would have been perfect for yep. this. Even even the song that they actually used, yeah, the just Iron, fucking use that one. Absolutely, that song is dope. Yeah, it sounds perfect, and would have fit that trailer. Oh, perfect, it was, sure. yeah, oh, honestly, someone's gonna cut it up with that. Uh, yeah, I already heard there's like a remixed trailer where somebody used the Assassin's Creed music. Nice. I haven't watched it, but I heard nice. it's out yeah, there. I haven't seen it, but like that part didn't make me go, "Oh, this film's gonna be atrocious." Question for you. Go. Sort of a science question. Sure. So oh. you probably won't know the answer, but I'm curious your opinion anyway. Uh, Wolverine's healing factor. Okay. Shouldn't he just be covered in like healed up scars all over yep, his that's body? That's what I thought. Because like I've always thought that, dude. If you get blown open, mm-hmm. you, even if your cells heal over the top of it, you'd it's have still, a scar still, there. Yeah, Scott, there's still scar tissue. Like how, but how his, amazing like is regener- his? His yeah. is like skin time travel. Like he, if yeah. he had a freckle there, the freckle's gonna be there. Yep. So technically, technically, he's bullshit because he shouldn't age at all. Well, he's not. He's kind of not supposed to, but they can't do anything about Absolutely, that with the movies. That's right, that's right. But the whole scar thing, it, yeah, it, it never made sense to me. I'm like, you should, like, even a sign, even a minor sign of scar tissue. Yeah, something it would have been nice, yeah. uh, but it's not not even like oh man, fix that. But I'm curious, like what what has to be a, different about your power set if you're not just healing, but you're like reversing time <laughs> kind of on your skin. Like, Technically, wait, what's his ability? Is it regeneration? Uh, or is it just a healing whatever, factor? However, they call it. They say healing factor because regeneration is like recreating it. It is, but it's like, like how do you, uh, for example, if you get a huge gash on your leg, like, yes. to where it's split apart. I've got a scar on my leg. 
I but it's have like one. split apart. Like no, no, you I can have a see it's... into you can see into your bone on your thigh. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be that. Like when it heals, how... up, that's fucked up. It's fucked. But up. how does the skin like reach out and grab onto itself? Okay. Like how? To... Because all, all you can heal all, almost whatever wound. Mm-hmm. Like if you got a really long gash, Absolutely. if you sew it shut, it'll heal itself. You'll still right. have a scar, have a but scar. it'll heal itself. With if you get an open gash and you don't get stitched up, how does the skin that's hanging that's like reach up know. and grab the other skin? See, it's like <laughs> so much weirder of a power. See, when you said the whole healing factor, um, <clears throat> what came to mind was um, Dragon Ball character Perfect Cell. Right. Every single one of his cells, it's not a regeneration. It's uh, wait, it's not a healing factor. It's regeneration. Yeah, he's like cloning each of his essentially. Cells. Yeah, he's his cells basically recreate itself. And that's right. why, like, when his arms blow up, it would just rebuild. Yeah, a whole arm pops. Yeah, there up. is, there is no, there's like obviously his one was ridiculous, but yeah, like Wolverine can't do that. Can he do that? Can I he don't, grow a fucking well, arm? He does. He traditionally he doesn't really get cut up that way because his bones are metal. Yeah, but when he's mm. And that, at least with yeah. Deadpool in the movie, he cut his hand off and it grew back into like a baby hand. See, or whatever. that's regeneration to me. But in the comics, when he gets his limbs cut off, yes, he that, has to back. get them and Absolutely. then put them back <laughs> onto his body. Right, right. So yeah, his ability like that, that's that's more regeneration. Right. So that's why I was like, yeah, with Wolverine, I never really like to me it was all bullshit. Like there's that one in the comic where he got he was blown up and he was just a skeleton, and I'm like. That's fucking garbage. Yeah, he was blown up by Nitro, the yeah. character that uh, caused the Stanford incident in Civil War. Okay, see? I was like, that's complete garbage. Yeah, they said that there was, like, microfibers inside of his skull or something, uh, and it, like, regenerated garbage. his whole body back or complete some shit garbage. like that. Yeah, no, see, to me, I'm like, <laughs> uh, that's the <clears throat> love for the character and wanting to bring him back, because that's garbage. Yeah. Like, it's pretty silly. Yeah, if he can regenerate himself from a fucking single cell, then he is perfect cell. Would you want that ability if you what? could have? That's too. Like, it's... Immortality. I don't know, man. If everyone you around you dies. I mean, but literally everyone. Because what yeah. happens if there's some world ending? Exactly. You're gonna be floating around, and since you can't die, you'll basically like. Your lungs will be like, oh wait, I can't breathe there. No, no, my lungs will basically uh, keep dying until it gets used to this, and then it'll somehow uh, adapt to it. But you'd also like freeze, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would too. But you'd be alive. You'd be alive. Just that'd be the worst. You'd be uh, fucking a, a frozen ice cube floating but around forever. Do you keep sinking, or is it like if someday you're thawed out, then you're alive again? Oh, see, that's weird. Like, are you frozen, frozen, or are your is your? I think you're like frozen until. I think, yeah. Because you, yeah, your you brain would, would freeze. That's true, Everything that's true. would freeze that's true. until you're thawed out. So, your in, body in other words, down. Royce, you're going to be floating forever. Because there's no way you're going to fucking randomly land on something and go, oh, I'm thawed out. Because you're out there for millions of yeah, years. absolutely. Somebody could find you eventually. Oh, dude, millions and millions. Or something. Oh, that's nuts. That's that's fucked up. No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody should write a story about that guy. Yeah, I'm good. That's, that's see? I'm like, that's why I was like, man, Wolverine's the best. I'm like, nah, he's fucking cursed, dude. That's a curse. We need to do a version of Highlander where he did kill all the Highlanders, but then the world blew up and he floated around in space for millions of years. Until it's just a story of him floating. It's just fucking... <laughs> oh, no, like, you, you skip the page and it's like a million years yeah. later. That's exactly. the story then. And then there are and other then, Highlanders. Like, aliens find them and, like, uh, uh, like thaw them out. Wait, no, 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 Royce. Yeah, you have, he has to have kill to be, all the immortals on another planet. You have, to be, you have to be specific. It's aliens, but they somehow still look humanish. Nah, oh, fuck that. They're like cockroach people, and then he has to fight the immortal cockroach people and steal their powers. That's cool. <laughs> I, I'd I'd watch that probably before post apocalyptic Zorro. That's still uh, a dumb idea. Who gives a shit about that? They cast it. Who? Some dude I've never heard of. Uh, he's he's probably like, cool. I get to star in a film. Someone's I get like, to be Zorro. Hey. He's like, yeah, in a post-apocalyptic world, who gives a shit? <laughs> and then he's like, my dreams. It's like, really, if that was your dream to star as Zorro in a post-apocalyptic world, credit to Just, you, man. You know, is uh, a blockbuster, maybe not specifically. That's, I Zorro, guess that because like after this, I can be in greater stuff, and I'm like, 
I'm going to be a Mexican superhero. And you're like, no, fuck you guys. Shit on your dreams. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Essentially, that's what I said, but not in those words. <laughs> I said it in nicer words, I think. Really? Uh, uh, so, that's yeah. a silly idea. But yeah, Wolverine's power sucks. <laughs> no, in terms of how it's bullshit. Yeah, well. It is bullshit. Even as a kid, I was like, nah, this makes no sense. Do like, you, no. Would you be upset if the Wolverine cameo that's in Apocalypse... It's not Wolverine, but it's Apocalypse? No, I don't think that's going to happen. Or if that's um, if that's Mystique instead? No, because she's the one that asks what happened. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yep, yep. But I'm saying, like, if, if Wolverine just busts out of where the Weapon X or wherever he mm-hmm. is in that facility... And he like kills those people and then leaves. That's his entire cameo. <laughs> oh, so that's basically him breaking out of the Weapon yeah, X. Yeah, he breaks out of Weapon X and they see it happen, and then that's it. That's the entirety of him being in. Honestly, it. he's him being in the film is not going to make it any better or worse for me. What if it he breaks out of it and it's him with like the dome hat and the wires and shit? All right, like credit full to him Weapon X version. If they did that, dude, I'd be like. You got one thing in this entire movie. <laughs> right. I really hope they give him the dome hat. I fuck, he better it. have that. He better have it. He have yeah, like, like that would be, oh, that'd be so cool, dude. Dude, now yep. I'm, now now I'm going to be disappointed because I know it's not that. <laughs> now I'm disappointed because it's not that, dude. They've only showed his hand. It could what be... if they show him and it's like the one arm Wolverine? Yeah, wait, there we go. One, what, 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 question. If he can regenerate shit, how come in the Age of Apocalypse storyline, Wolverine's missing a hand? Um, I'd have to read it again, but I believe you know why? that it was like shot off and melted shut by by Cyclops' eye whoa, whoa. Okay, I-beam so, but his eye beam's not even a laser anyway, so stupid. Um, but it was like cauterized that's by cool. it. So, so he can't regenerate that, but he can fucking regenerate from a single cell cool cool job writers uh i don't know again for sure because i'd have to read it i think it'd be hilarious if he was like i just put a metal thing on it i don't want it to grow back <laughs> Still, <garbage. laughs> i stumped it off i want to keep it like this nice. um maybe he doesn't have his healing factor in the age of apocalypse i haven't read it in a long time yeah, so i don't true. remember maybe he doesn't have that okay fair enough maybe he doesn't have the healing factor all I remember is that he also removed one of Cyclops' eyes and made him actually a Cyclops. I'm better with that. And that Deadpool gets killed by Nightcrawler. That makes no sense because you can't kill him still. He teleported Deadpool's head off. To where? I don't know. Far enough away where he couldn't reattach it or something. <laughs> I have no idea. We know now in comics Deadpool's head could still be alive as it, as it is. Uh, maybe, but they also you gotta keep in mind this was yeah, before is Deadpool nice. is the version of Deadpool we know now because it was still the nineties. Yes, fucking whatever, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. They just had to kill everybody. Age of Apocalypse, pretty much everybody dies. That's the rules, right? Except Wolverine because he's cool. He might die in that too. I don't remember. Oh no, this movie's out Gambit next week. Kills Colossus. Colossus looked cool in that fucking comic. He did. Yeah, he like the bandana. Yeah, I was like, he's cool Costco and he's style. huge. Huge. And he got killed by Gambit. What a Gambit! With a whole deck of cards in the back skin. How did he get? How did he pierce a deck of cards in his uh in his steel body? He exploded the steel apart with a whole deck of cards. That's intense. That's a lot of decks. Yeah, and uh, because apparently Colossus killed. Gambit's wife on accident. How do you accidentally kill somebody? He was running to save his sister and he stepped on her and crushed her whole body. Fuck Cause, that. Because he's like huge, huge. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He, uh, it was Shadow Cat, actually. She didn't see what was happening to try and phase through it, and he stepped on her and killed her. Woo! Wait, that was, um... He killed Shadow Cat? He killed... That was, that was Gambit's wife? In Age of Apocalypse. Age of Apocalypse storyline is bananas. <laughs> like, shit, Magneto good. and Rogue are husband and wife. Yeah. There's all kinds of crazy shit happening in there. <sighs> Whatever. Comics. Yeah, 90s comics yep. in particular. And, and this movie is not related to it in any way. 
No, well, because it's not Age of Apocalypse. That's it's true. just it's Apocalypse. That's right. That's right. Um, but yeah, and nobody knows what the fuck is going on with that new Wolverine movie either. It's R rated, apart from it being R rated. And they cast Stephen Merchant in it and some other dude. Who is Stephen Merchant going to be? No fucking clue. Especially in this whatever version, weird right? version yeah, of yeah. This Old version Man of Logan. Old Man Logan, that's right. You're going to call the film Old Man Logan? I hope not. I think it's probably just going to be Wolverine 3 or some shit. Or Wolverine 2. Is it technically Wolverine 2? <laughs> <laughs> the first one was Wolverine Origins. Second one's just the Wolverine. It'd be weird if the new one they can't call it two or three because that'd be confusing. So just the unless it's the Wolverine two. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird thing. I don't care. Yeah. Do you know what? You know what? To be honest, do you know when I'll care about the X Men franchise again? The movie. When it connects to the Deadpool universe. When they go, oh, by the way, it's uh, re- it's kind of um, yeah, Tim Miller's gonna be in charge of it, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. That's when I will be like, cool, let's do it that way instead. And that's what they should do. Yep. We just fixed the X Men universe, kind of. It did. Um, but yeah, we don't really have anything else to talk about on the yeah, list other than that, it. huh? That was it. We we actually covered quite a lot of ground. But it was very conversational as well, so... Yeah, conversations. Conversations? Conversations. <laughs> That's still going to be part of it. <laughs> I don't think I anybody wonder... mentioned the song. I was going to say, I wonder if anybody noticed the song at the end of the last episode. Well, if you watched the episode and you didn't get to the song, go back to the last episode and listen past the outro. Yeah. And there's a special little song about hanging out with an old Chinese woman in the park. Yep. That was that's essentially the title of the song, but also all the lyrics. <laughs> At least do a rap song. <laughs> a rap song. Dude, like, I want to sound like that, and that, that's the chorus. <laughs> oh, that's the chorus. Oh, that's hilarious. That's the chorus. But yeah, like, yeah, if you check it out, it should be fun times. Yeah. No one's mentioned uh, it, so I don't think anyone... As soon as I heard that one, up, chip and jump, they're just like, cool, it's done. Yeah, I thought for sure, like, Somebody. Josh or Some... somebody would... They'll we'll probably, like, yeah, I well, hopefully to that. from this point, they will check it. Yeah, I wonder how many of our other little, like, random shits we've inserted people have missed. Oh, dude, there's probably tons, man. Yeah, I don't even remember what episodes they're in, so dude, I can't I'm, help you now. Like, we don't have a lot of listeners, so just the ones that even listen, I wonder if any of them has actually heard them. Yeah, well, you know, it's not a lot compared to some people, but, you know. Honestly, they're like all these little things anyway. We do it for us. Yeah, it's very true. Might as well record them. Exactly. Um, but until the next one, guys. Yeah. Stay chipper. Stay chipper. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat.